welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's video, we have the first official trailer for a new Death Note American-made movie coming to Netflix soon. 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 Yeah. Um, we'll probably I, find out in the it, yeah. we'll find out in the trailer. Okay, so right off the bat, we know about the basic premise of Death Note. We haven't read any of the Death Note manga, or, watched, or didn't watch, watch the anime, anime, or watch the Japanese uh, live action movies. Yeah, apparently I own one accidentally. Okay. Because of Katrina. Uh, okay. I'm just Our sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that, and but the premise is simple. A uh, very intelligent kid finds uh, a a, Shin a Shinigami's uh, a deaf like a deaf reaper's book. Yeah. Um, where it's called Death Note, where you write the person's exact name yeah. in it, and they die. Yeah. And he decides to become his own vigilant, Punisher style vigilante, using this book. Yeah. With also with the help of the said, sh I don't remember the, sh the Shinigami's actual name, played by Willem Dafoe, who tags along with him on his journey with Which the I Death really Note. Can't wait to see however, his, the so like. however, the government is slowly catching on to these random, out of nowhere deaths. Yeah. So let's check it out. Let's check it out, and then we'll be talking a lot more after this. So here we go for the Death Note official full trailer. The so guy's name's know. Light. The guy's first name is Light. Yeah, I know. I, know. I don't know, this seems weird. So here we go. All the people that make life miserable. <laughs> Make life dangerous. Uh, I'm just trying to help somebody it. out. That's an apple. That's a book. person killing these people. That's what they call him. This kid has taken credit for over 400 deaths. Yeah, same. Although we do not know how he kills his And that's, uh, hell. We do know he's not some omnipotent force. He's a person. Like you or me. You're the one who flew into the sun. I'm just here to make sure you burn. We're not the good guys anymore. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> fucking perfect and now he's they he looks almost clo close to dead on to dead the, on to yeah to the character design from the original oh, manga wow he just honestly i remember the plot is that like he gets bored you know he's like he gets bored girl, girls girls want to be with him yeah guys like you know but he, he's he's bored he uh, there's he wants more and yeah. and it looks like they twist that a little to where like he's like he sees his calling through an incident. He 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 gets involved with a bully. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And they they he, I think that's what happens. That's, that's what it's like. That's, that's when... what he wants to do, but how? And then, how? Yeah. Then out you know out comes from the sky the death note. The death note where the yeah, the main god the death god pretty much. Sorry, we don't know the name. Um, but he just drops it in the middle because he wants because he wants to have fun. And he's like you know let's give it to a random human. You know, and see what they do with it, and just be lo and behold, it gives it to him. Have you seen that new poster they came out with? For yeah, it? yeah, I it see. looks really nice. I mean, poster really looks cool. nice. Really cool. Poster looks nice. I, um, it, you know, it looks. I can't really say uh, my thoughts from the adaptation, but from what I've seen, it is. It looks fine. It looks I mean, right. it, it it could be. It's 
you know, it's 50-50. You know, it could either be, you know, surprisingly... Okay, Power Rangers movie. There you go. You know... It could pull a Power Rangers film, yeah. Power Rangers film. <laughs> if your expectations are low enough, and this movie does fi is fine, your expectations could be, you know, met. It yeah. would be more than it, were, it could be just passable for you. And it doesn't look like they're, like, you know, kind of, like, skimpy on it. It does look like, a, you know, a full-length feature film... Yeah, but I think oh, one thing people are curious about is how far within the books you go. Is it going to be based off the entire series? Is it just going to be also I think, uh, like the first part of the series? Yeah, because I think it's it's, 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 it's it's a very long story, and I see them if it does well. I see them do or you know them doing a sequel. You know, continuing maybe probably doing another chapter or another but the, I mean, another this, book or something this, like that. This this is going to rely, especially nowadays. This is going to rely heavily on whether or not. It, does well enough because yeah. Netflix is starting to learn about what a budget is. Yeah. Because you you heard right, like Sense Eight got canned, though it is getting a two hour finale. It's getting it's getting a proper a send off um, in a way. But the main reason it got canned was budget reasons. Yeah. Uh, Longmire is getting their season. However, that's going to be its final because of budgets. Budget. So yeah, I think budget. it's Netflix. Because Netflix has their own. They have a long so list of this, ideas of series. This movie they needs to on. do well enough. Because remember, it, this, it doesn't make money. Netflix stuff makes views. views. The more views it gets, the more likely it chances. <laughs> so their budget is weirder than a normal like block like feature film budget. Yeah, right? from a normal studio. TV budget. You know? Yeah. I mean, like that's why the ranch has like three seasons now. It's, 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 a, it's a it's a budget they can handle because it's a sitcom. It's a sitcom type of budget. That's all it is. But and with feature films and bigger like crime procedurals. That's where the budget's all over the place. So for Death Note, it needs to bring in those viewers to even consider doing a possible yeah. sequel to it. Yeah, and, and of course, that's why I say you're going to get those doubters. Because after I know after uh, the last trailer, the teaser trailer, I, I mean, I, I watched a lot of people's reactions. And there's a lot, there, I don't know, there is a, fan, a huge fan basis behind this. And there are a bunch of people against the whole, you know, a lot of them... Consider it whitewashing again, pretty much. Hate to bring it back up again. Well, I I call it westernizing it. Like when it comes to something like it's called westernizing, like like we all know the shit show that was Dragon Ball Evolution. Yeah, exactly. It took you, it took you how long to convince me to actually well, sit down and watch it? You took like a good hour. I forced them to watch it. So I took a good hour to convince you to watch it, and then after we watched, it, I felt like I I should have just just stayed away. He just wasted it. But so wasted I part of his life. I think the point I'm trying to make is I can see where people are coming from for this adaptation. Yeah, for those who I can see people series. who are really I can see why they're worried because yeah. you know Dragon Ball Evolution just just crapped the bed and like yeah. was, with another westernized thing based off a popular series in Japan. But again, they're taking same, another risk. But at the, at the same time, like I said, they're westernizing it. But at the same time, they have to realize we have to deal with fans who don't know about this. Yeah. You know, we have to make sure that they understand what's going on, what's comprehending. Yeah. You know, yeah, you can tell somebody, oh, watch, sit down and watch the series or read the manga. A lot of people don't have that time. Sometimes they, that's how come it's like you have these films where you, they can sit down, watch the film, and then go back to whatever they're doing. You know, it's a relaxation time. So, I understand that part. So, but I, mean, I think the popular, like I said though, it's going to come down to what the fans think. It's going to come down to what the fans think. And honestly, for me, I think it's going to be very mixed for this film. To be honest, it's going to be very mixed. Because you have those diehard fans that want every single little bit to be exactly what they exactly. want. Exactly. You know, where you got the others are just like, I understand where they're going. You know, it's like, they're, they, they are grabbing the elements, you know, but they're, you know, in a way, they're westernizing it. Yeah. So, yeah. I understand where they're going there. So, I'm still going to watch it. But I've never really seen the series. Like I said, we've never really seen the series or read the manga. But we're but, still going to watch yeah, it. But, yeah, time will tell how, how successful this is. Yeah. So other than that, though, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share this around, share around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else who comes to talk about stuff like this, hit the subscribe button down below or at the end of this video. Um, and again, um, if you have any comments or suggestions or your own opinion on the, this type of film or overall just films like these that we've mentioned, definitely let us know your thoughts below. Um, again, you've already heard what our opinions are when it comes to these type of films or when they do stuff like this where they make it from an adaptation to something like this, westernizing it. You know, we do have our opinions. Everybody has their own opinion on what they think. Um, I mean, 
pretty much, like I said, just put down what you think. I mean, your opinion, what you think, all that down below. I mean, we'll read it. Um, and like I said, you know, everybody has their own opinions. So it's, like I said, we'll read them. But like I said, even if you judge us, whichever, you know, it's, it's our opinions. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. Now, this was a very Shinigami filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see any more of our videos, check out the playlist links down below in the description. And you can also check out our Twitter uh, account pretty much uh, down below at Super React Bros.